Hey YouTube, I'm back with another video, and this time we're looking at a 2015 MacBook Pro, um, 13 inch. So normally I'll typically do PC videos, um, and I love desktop PCs, um, but laptop wise, I've always been attracted to the look, the feel, um, even, even Mac OS um, that a, a MacBook brings to the table. Um, but there's always been an issue with this MacBook, um, and it started, probably a few years after, after purchase, probably like last year, a little bit before that, overheating. The fan gets extremely loud, even just playing YouTube videos or just simple tasks like that. So what we're gonna do, um, I'll first take you through, I'll try to show you sort of where we're sitting at. Um, so at idle, CPU usage is jumping around, but below 10% for the most part. And at idle, we're sitting at 50C on the CPU and 54 on the GPU. So here we go, we're in Cinebench. Um, we have an Intel Core i5, 5287U. Um, it's two core, four thread at 2.9 gigahertz. Um, so I'm gonna run Cinebench R20 and we'll see what kind of temps we're looking at as well as performance score. So instantly we jump up to 100% CPU usage, which is awesome. And we're ready at 65, 66C, and I only expect that to climb We're now up to 70C, and we're up to almost 90C on the GPU. Fans still really haven't kicked in, and now they're starting to kick in, and it's starting to get pretty loud. So we're still running to the bench. It's still gonna take a little bit longer, so I'll get you the final score once that's all done. But I just want you to listen to how loud this thing gets when it's under load. So. The fans are keeping it at around 70 degrees C CPU and around 85 C on the GPU, but I'm just gonna lower the mic so you can hear it. So it's noticeably loud when it comes to fan speed. Fans are revving up to like 5,500 RPM and it's it's really loud and it's it's like this for a decently long time when it gets up to this loud. Um, and this high of RPMs, the temps do drop. So we're sitting at around 65 on the CPU and around 80 on the GPU. But it would be nice if we don't even get to those temps to begin with and the fans don't kick in uh, to that high. Finishing up Cinebench now. And finished at around 65C. Um, both, and our score was a 742. Um, so that's again two cores, four threads.
um, while the CPU is initially hitting 100%, the fans still haven't kicked in and we'll see what kind of temps we're looking at. So instantly GPU jumps up to around 83, 84. Again, that's expected as when we took the heatsink off, we saw there was pretty much no thermal paste whatsoever on the GPU. It's not in contact with anything, it's just there. Um, I guess as the CPU cools down, the GPU cools down as well, or as the fans kick up, it's pulling a little bit of heat away. Um, and the fans right now have kicked up to around 2700, but the CPU is still only sitting at 66C. Last time we got up to around 72C. Um, so we'll see what kind of, what kind of thermals we see. Um, right now it's looking like we're only hitting 66, 67. Um, but if we can see a five degree difference in performance, that would be awesome. Um, just for making a simple change, um, like replacing the thermal paste. So the fans are starting to kick up again. It is getting pretty loud, but when you're hitting 100% CPU usage for as long as this test is gonna run for, it's pretty much expected. Um, but we're only sitting at 66C. We haven't really hit, gone above that. So that is really, really good. So I'll let this test run through and then I'll show you guys the final score at the end and see what kind of performance increase we got. Now we're sitting at a score of 70, 761. Um, so it looks like we got a 40 point boost. I'm pretty sure it was 724. Again, once I review the footage, I'll make sure that is correct. Um, but the max temp on the CPU was only 66 degrees C or 67, it got up to for like a second. So that's a five or six degree difference right there. I think this has definitely brought my, my, um, my MacBook uh, back to life in a way that you know I won't have to listen to the fans always kick in even if I'm just watching YouTube the the temp should be kept at five or six degree lower temp all the time for the most part which should prevent the fans from ramping up and getting really loud so that should be really awesome so if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up uh, leave comments below if you want to see more videos like this or if you have some other ideas for some videos or there's something you really want to see done um, whether it's to a MacBook or a, a desktop PC I am all for that so please leave a comment below and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel